Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's mostly craft supplies as usual, but there's some other stuff mixed in. It is almost eight o'clock and I have coffee. Dunkin' Donuts vanilla, oh, so good. All right, so let's get into this haul. I'm just gonna see what's in front of me. I picked up some of these cupcake liners. They're different. I mean, they're fine and they'll work for what I need them for, but I'm gonna show you. And you do get a hundred of them, but they're almost like a waxed paper. Um, these would also be great for like cookies, little candies, but they definitely have a, like a waxy feel to them. I used them the other night and they worked out fine. And you get a hundred of them for a dollar. So, oops, I grabbed those. I was looking for the trash. Here it is. I picked up two of these. I have a Christmas DIY coming up. Um, and these are just to hold the signs that we're making. So I grabbed two because I'm gonna make two, two different signs. Um, so I like those. I grabbed some Goo Gone. I know it's probably cheaper if I buy a bigger bottle, but these are perfect for what I use them for, which is usually just taking labels off of stuff. So the little bottles are fine for me. I picked up for my craft room another pack of these little bottles for glitter. Um, I'm just trying to organize some of my glitters. It's all over the place, and these work out perfect for the little packets you get from the Dollar Tree. And the best thing is there are six colors of glitter that come, and there are six of these, so just pour them in. So I grabbed another pack of those. Um, I picked up, just for crafting for the holidays, three of the rope. Now, I know some people... This is four millimeter and it's 13 feet. I think they went down to nine for a minute or they had some that were nine, but these are 14 feet. So I just grabbed three. I have no use for these. I just keep them in my stash. So when the mood strikes or wrap something in twine or rope, I've got it. Let me throw those on the floor. They're in my way. Um, I found, look at these bows. Are these not adorable? Tiny little bows. Um, and it's the Give Me Six Fashion Bow brand, but what I want to use them for, because they have a little clip, I'm going to put them in my planner to mark my page. So I think that those would be adorable for some planner accessories. Um, they'd be good for little girls or boys if they want to wear bows. I don't know, but they're cute and they are nice. And they will be perfect for my planner. More so for spring, probably, because I'll start making Christmas clips soon. I love Christmas. Have I mentioned that? I love Christmas. Speaking of, I picked up a pack of these. I just got one this year, but I love decorating with these, um, especially if I do some type of wooden sign. These are great to just hot glue on, especially like a dark blue background. Um, you do want to spray them. They're covered in glitter. And speaking of covered in glitter, I found these. I liked the gold face better than I liked the white one. Um, here's what I'm gonna say. This is like a necklace. It just kind of loosely, I think if it were, and I'm going to tack it down, it would look better. But first I'm going to spray paint this. Uh, not spray paint it, but seal it because it's very glittery, but I brought, I got two. I think these will look good on my mantle on either side because they're not big, but they are adorable. So I grabbed two of those. Like I said, I liked the brown with the gold better. I just like the gold this year. I found some slippers in the Buffalo. These are not bad slippers. Um, some of them are better than others. There's a pink with white polka dots that are really nice. I'm taking the tags off so we can see what's happening with these things. Um, you know, do I think they're gonna last forever? Heck no, but will they last a couple weeks for Christmas? Yes. They even have like the skid bumps thingies on the bottom. It says that they will fit a size, up to a size nine. So I'm gonna try one on. I wear, like I said, I wear an eight to an eight and a half and they 
just fit my foot. Like literally, if my foot was a half an inch longer, it wasn't gonna work, but they're comfy. So they fit me, I'm an eight to an eight and a half. Now I have a wider foot, so if you have a narrow foot, I would just recommend trying them on, but they're super cute. These would make a great like office gift, put some nail polish, some foot lotion, and just kind of make a little pampering kit. These, however, are for mama, cause I love them and they'll look awesome to wear for Christmas time. And they're warm. This little stuff is nice. I'm impressed for a dollar. Um, I was gonna get my coworker a leopard print one, but they were, it was blurry. I don't like that. Same reason I don't like a lot of polar fleece. It's like blurry to my eye and it gives me a headache. Just thought I would share that. I picked up some masking tape for, um, well, masking things, for painting projects. I really wanted this in painter's tape with, but I do have a hard time buying tape to paint and throw away. So we'll see if this works. My premise is that it's cheap, so it may not stick a lot. I don't know, I got the hiccups. So I grabbed that just for crafting purposes. And also for crafting purposes, I bought this. These are from Crafters Square. It's a stencil brush. Um, but what I got it for, not for stenciling necessarily, but for like doing around the edges. I'm trying to see if I can get it out. I have a hard time with some paint brushes and I need to get some new ones, but that's not too terribly bad. Um, yeah, I'm not going to like it. It's rough. And I don't like it when it leaves the lines, but my thought was, you know, to kind of blend some colors around the edge and it might work for blending. I'll try it before I give it a nay, um, but it's super rough. So we'll see for a dollar. I'm not heartbroken. Um, for Sarah's advent calendar, which I need to get that video together. I grabbed one of these like face spatulas. It honestly looks like a kitchen spatula for your face and it's a put on, um, like masks and stuff and I got her some masks that you have to dip in not paper masks so I thought this would be super cute to go with that and it's a dollar so you again can't go wrong and it's just a spatula for your face but I tried one I have one and it worked so I grabbed one for Sarah uh, mine was just a different brand and speaking of facial stuff I found this facial brush um it removes dirt, oil, and makeup, maybe. Gently exfoliates and unclogs pores. Requires two AA batteries, not included. Now, I did use the nail file and it worked. So we're gonna try this. And I did purchase two, one for me and one to go with a nail file for a giveaway coming up. So I will try it and then I will um, put one away to go with the nail file. And I'm just gathering some things that I think are cute put in a giveaway um speaking of cute oops, let's not chop our finger off i grabbed a pencil bag i did really good this year not buying one um i bought this one actually for not pencils but to put the nail the electric nail file that i got from the dollar tree in here so it has three heads like three changeable of the little bit looking things but there's nothing to put them in and I thought I would lose them. So I grabbed this. It'll fit in here perfectly with its accessories. And I thought put some nail files in there with it. And some like my clear nail polish. I have some cuticle stuff. And just make myself a little nail kit. Because like a lot of times at night if I'm laying in bed watching TV or reading, I like to do my nails. And it's sometimes it's just easy to have everything together. So this will be the kit and then I picked up this with sassy and sassy and chic three little nail files this would be awesome um stocking stuffers if you see them some nail polish they've got the kiss gel in again and some little nail files I think that would be adorable for any age girl heck get some of those slippers you could do a whole beauty collection um now the one thing I will say that I have a hard time with with some of the sassy and chic nail files is they don't work too good um, but these seem to be okay. And they say dream, laugh, love, and they're nice and small. Um, they're going to go in here to have, so I can, you know, do some filing if I need a better file, but I think they'll be okay, but I will try them out.
But like I said, I haven't had the greatest luck with the Sassy and Chic, but those look different than the other ones that I normally purchase. So there's that. I picked up another pack of these snack. Um, I'll open and show you what they are. They're snack size treat bags or snack size zippies, but they go this direction and they have measurements on the side. And I really like this size. I think it holds more than the one this way or it holds better. Um, I don't necessarily always use the measurements, but I like these for when I'm packing snacks to go to work or whatever. What these actually were perfect for my peanut butter keto cookies. It'll hold two and then I just toss them in the freezer. And again, when I'm on the go, I can grab a couple. So I picked up a box um, of that. I'm going to put, I'm just putting stuff away while we sit here. So my cart is over here. I found this. I haven't found the truck yet, but I found the little gingerbread man. And I think he's adorable and I might just paint him up just like this. He would be cute too on like a picture frame, or make a sign for your kitchen. I just think he's adorable. And please look at his little buttons. Like tell me that isn't adorable. I may see if I could get them off. I don't think I can. I was going to say to paint them, but I'll just have to paint around them gently. And then his bow tie. So he is adorable. I only found the one, um, but I like him a lot. I may end up tracing him before I, on some felt before I paint it, but I just thought this would be totally adorable in my kitchen. I don't have a gingerbread theme, but I'll just give him a coffee cup and life will be fine, right? A gingerbread, coffee cup. So I grabbed one of him. I'm still looking for that wooden truck. Oh, it's going to be the death of me. I picked up, I like to take these tags off. I'm not being slow tonight, but it's easier to show you things when there's no tags on them. Especially these are big. These are from Lumines. So they are a Dollar Tree. They've had them years over year. I kind of like this black with the silver. It almost looks like a, um, like galvanized maybe. But I enjoy these a lot just to sit out. I don't necessarily light them up. But I think they're adorable. They may even go on my front porch. Um, so I grabbed two of those. Or they could go on my mantle. This one I think might be broken. Yeah. I have to, well, there it might go back together. I can glue it together so it's no big deal. But it does come apart, apparently. But I like these. Put a little bow on them and maybe hang it on a little something outside. Or my front bay window it would be adorable. So I grab those. Like I said, I just two of everything apparently. Um, I think I'm getting down to the wire here, guys. I found so okay. I'm doing but dial it back a second, girl. I'm making countdown to Christmas signs for cousins. Sorry, my shirt's like weird today. For my cousins' kids just to have and for a co-worker. So I'm gonna make a video of it. Originally, I had thought about using these four, these canvas, this is an eight by 10, which it's not out of the question, but I purchased two of these for that purpose. But then when I was in the store today, I found these signs, sorry for the glare. I just want it for the wooden frame, to be honest with you. So I took one out of plastic just to see, and look at this, it's so neat. It's particle board or whatever. This thing here just pops out. It's literally just plastic. And I pushed on it and it just popped out. There's a groove in there for it. So I got that out of there because I don't want that. But when I put this up, it doesn't 100% fit. It's going to be a little off either the top or the bottom, which would really bother me. Um, yeah, there's that. So what I'm thinking of doing, because I do want to use this frame, is I'm thinking about using foam core board instead. Cutting it the size of this or a little smaller the whole way and then I can glue it down in the back. The only issue I have with that is when I painted it before it bowed. So that may not work. Um, another option is craft paper. And then back it with like a canvas just to hold it into place. So do the design 
I know that won't work either because I'm doing a chalkboard on it. We'll see. It may end up on just this. Maybe I will find a wooden frame and use this for something different. I don't know. We're in the planning phases, guys. But I wanted to do a Grinch one and maybe a Nightmare Before Christmas one. And so that's where I'm at. So the point is with these, you can just sit it up. It doesn't have to hang. You can just sit it on your counter and then the number will be chalk paint and you can just change it each night with a little sponge and then change the day on it. So that's my thought. And either one of these would, well, that's not going to because there's nothing behind it. But if there was a canvas behind it, we should measure this because of course it's a Dollar Tree product and there's no measurements. Right, we'll use this. So it is across From one side to the other, nine inches. So the width is fine. It's the length that's the issue. The, lit, the length of the opening is 10. So an eight and a half by 11 would work, but I don't know that that's a thing. I know 11 by 14 is a canvas size. I'm not sure about an eight and a half by 12. It's about 12 inches long. So I have to just look around and see if I can find a canvas that's at least eight and a half by 10. Did I say my opening was nine inches? And you want some overlapping. So yeah, my opening is 10 inches long by seven. So it's 10 by seven opening. So if I found a canvas that was a little bigger than that, then I could do it. Aren't you glad you worked through that problem with me? <laughs> but that is everything. And I hope you enjoy. And when will I have that up? I don't know. I'm obviously in the planning phase for um those signs i wonder if my gingerbread man would fit on here no he doesn't either so i'm on the hunt i'll figure it out i'll get some diys up i'm not sure if i have anything for this week but for now enjoy this haul and i will talk to you later bye baby bye 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 bye